Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where car and driver editors, staffers, contributors, and friends gather to search for cars online based on a challenge. This week's challenge was to find a $50,000 car. So the budget is $50,000, but you have to live with this car for five more years. And this is basically your only car. So the next five years are determined by this car. So this week we're joined by contributor John Purley Huffman. Contributor, Eagle, Idaho. Contributor John, Jonathan Ramsey. Uh, senior editor Joey Caparella. And rounding out the crew is deputy editor or uh, deputy testing director Casey Colwell. Um, who wants to go first? Pearly, why don't you go first? Let's see what you pick for your next five years. I'm going first. Sure. Okay. Well, I thought about it. I thought hard, and uh, you know, my my general tendency is to go tundra. <laughs> but you know that. <laughs> but but that is what I'm going to be living with for the next five years. Almost that truck. But instead, I thought something else. I thought, oh, my God, Chevrolet Impala SS. <laughs> hmm. Now, the good thing <laughs> is these things, these things are already devalued. They're not losing value. OK, most of, most of them have been ruined. And look at this one I found. 1996 Impala, 24,573 miles. That's cool. You've this color that color is color spectacular. Just looks great. You're never going to see a car like this uh, in production again. It's. Yeah, I think. I think the '95s or the first model year. What was the first model year? '94, '94. Those, Those were, were all black, and then they started painting them afterwards. Yeah, I think this is the best color for it myself. What all, color is this? This is a green, misty something or other. Uh, dark green, gray metallic. It's. <laughs> it's play misty for me. Yeah, play <laughs> misty for me. But this is the only '96 was the only year you got a floor shifter. Oh, really? Yeah. You still and, get that uh, three-spoke steering wheel, though. Yeah, so what? And, uh, you know, but you could get three spokes because it's 1996. This is a car. It's an artifact. You know, this is one of the last the last full-size, uh, full-frame cars that uh, GM made. And you're going to drive this for the you're next You're going to drive this for five years. Sure. You can't drive the Tundra, you know. <laughs> I know. What makes I've, it such a good daily driver? Have you driven one of the? Well, first of all, Joey, oh, it's haven't. older than you are. No, so you've never not. driven one. Here we go. Okay. You can drive cars that are older than you, actually. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> it's not like it's not like it wasn't here when this car was new. And this car, when it was new, was so much fun to drive, so easy to live with. Has a trunk the size of a ballroom. Is, is it still so much fun to drive? Yes. No. Yes. It's a big <laughs> battle cruiser. It's body on yeah. frame. I mean, yeah, look, my, my my Buick my Buick Park Avenue Ultra was amazing in '97. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it amazing. Now I enjoy it. These Despite cars, the head-up display. <laughs> oh, this this car. Good. This car is so good and so different. It's just you know I'm ready to go for five years, and at the end of five years, you know what this thing is going to be worth? Whatever I what, pay. What, for. what are they selling it for? How much do they want for it? Thirty-two nine ninety. Okay. And these were new. They were like twenty-five thousand. Zero to sixty in like six, five. They're not that well, quick. Just, just about six. I think I, we have Frank Marcus. I don't know whatever happened to Frank Marcus. What no, he it's six this? five. Look at the numbers. Are the numbers not there? I have the road test of that. Here it is. It's right here. Yeah, it's six five to sixty. Six five, and I, I, what I want is something that's different. I don't want to show up and see anything else. You're never going to get a car like this, and it's cool. And a guy who loves tundras now wants to be unique. Now wants no, to stand just in the it, it's, it's all body on frame. <laughs> oh, it's as close okay. as I can get that's to. The, it's as close yeah. as I can get to a tundra, and still have fun. <laughs> That's the intersection on the Venn diagram. Right. <laughs> Just the, the only two points there. It's a unique experience. I'll give you that. It's a unique experience. It's not going to be it's not going to be anything else. Well, when you drive it, Pearly, when you drive it for five years, you're going to put presumably another 50, maybe 75,000 miles on it. Well, this so, is the thing is, is that Tony, I mean, the thing is, is that the truth is, is that if it's me, I only put about seven or eight thousand miles a year on cars. Okay, so you're going to put another forty thousand on this, let's say. Maybe, but the thing is, because you know, if, if we're talking about a five year for me, I'm an automotive journalist. No, no, no. I, 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 I understand that, but <laughs> yeah, it's still, oh, yeah. it's going to lose. It's going to be worth fifteen thousand when you're done with this. It's still going to be better than a lot of these cars are. 
Maybe, maybe. We'd yeah, say a lot of these time. cars. We'd say a lot of these cars. Well, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that Tony and everybody else is just picking for Apple. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, we haven't we haven't shown anything. What, what well, these cars? All, and that God, car is so it. beautiful. This car's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, oh. man, no, like that <laughs> door hardware is. <laughs> Something you know, else. you know, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys all, all are you, you don't have any appreciation. No, I, look, I appreciate the car. I'm just, I'm surprised that you. This is where you want to make your stand until 2026. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a five-year commitment. A five like 2026, year. you're like, yes, this is this is the horse I'm riding on. You know, <laughs> you know, you know what. Guys, look. I'm on your side. No, 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 I'm on your no, side. No, 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 no. Car, it's fine. Now, now that I picked something unique and interesting and fun, <laughs> you proceed on to your guys' conventional wisdom mobiles. Don't be and, like that, Perlia. Don't, <laughs> don't be don't like be that. Don't be sore. Don't be sore. I'm on yeah. your side. I like I, the car. I like the car. I'm just I'm just surprised that that's where you're. I want. I want it. I, you know, I wanted something that if, when, when I went out to, for five years, I could look at it and go like, God, I'm the only one who's going to be driving something like this. <laughs> Again, when I had a Maserati by Turbo, no one said that. <laughs> when, when I was like, well, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Maserati by Turbo. Wait, wait a second. There was there, no, congratulations, uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, let's admit right now. Maserati by Turbo, pile of <laughs> Impala SS, okay. pretty good car. Unique okay. experience. Pretty good okay. car. You're so yeah. good. I know. Five years with a pretty good car. <laughs> well, it's a great car. Look, you know, I remember we did, we did, we did, uh, we did comparison tests with these things when I was at another magazine, and the other and magazine is immediately not credible. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's a great. It's the right choice, and I wanna, you guys I'll, know it. Okay, Pearly, we'll get back to you at the verdict, uh, Joey. I want to see what Joey picked. I'm curious. Okay, so I'm back to my old tricks again. I know I've picked a few cars that are off-brand, but I'm back back at it again with this 2003 Lexus <laughs> It's so under budget. <laughs> it's yeah. so under budget. It's $14,000 now. A one-owner car with 62,000 miles. And I think this is about one of the best cars ever built. It is one of the best cars ever built. I think, I think Joey might be over 60. <laughs> Years old? You think is it, he was he was he a recipient of of uh, a Freaky Friday? I think I think no. I think Joey's actually Benjamin Button. <laughs> Joey. Yeah, and why, kind of why this generation, Joey? Okay, but hear me out. If you're going to drive a car every single day, I feel like this hits all the marks. It's comfortable. <laughs> it's reliable. It's quiet. It's rear wheel drive. It's got a V8 engine. This one's in really good shape. The seats look really nice. I, mean, I, 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 I don't mean this as an insult, but it's a Japanese Buick. <laughs> it's, that's not an insult to me. They're, they're, be, they're beautifully built cars, but they're boring as hell. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you could have got evidence. Could've got, go ahead. Well, I mean, you could, I didn't even think about it, but isn't there a V12 LS? Isn't there a, wasn't the hybrid? No. The well, hybrid was supposed to have v12 power with v is that what it was am i just remembering the marketing but the what about that generation was, ls yeah. why didn't you get a newer, newer ls car. joey yeah okay so i think that this generation is the best ls the one that followed was like had kind of a weird interior i didn't like the design um and then the one the current one i think i also don't like very much you like that ride height on this one i do like the ride height um i also searched for one without nav because you know Right, it'll just date it. Um, the other like ammunition I've come armed with is this comparison test from 2004 where the Lexus won. Um, Ooh, how'd the fans do? So, Jag XJ S Class A8, uh, 7 Series, and Phaeton. And <laughs> the VW entry, okay, so S Class was really old at this point. That's right, so yeah. Awesome. And that was the six cylinder. Or maybe it was that we did not like very much. It was the eight cylinder one. The, neither of the VW cars. Yeah, really who great. who would have picked a Phaeton in any, any of these comparison tests? Who would have done that? It's and a then Ford the BMW. And like, what I love about this entry about the oh Lexus my god, the Jag finished second. Jaguar got second. Incredible. I know. Isn't that wow. Yeah, thank but God. Okay, what I really right like about this is like 
this isn't you did, this doesn't seem like a car and driver sort of car but then it, it just it won the vote <laughs> the end. i love it but like gravity it kept going <laughs> yeah, on exactly. <laughs> so, oh my goodness i relate to this that's, that's the very involved in that comment room. compliment <laughs> who wrote really it? Love bedard it. is it a bedard because he loved toyota yeah. yes. yes bedard is patrick wrote this yeah he loved toyotas yeah. and this seems like a lot of car for you joey you you want to drive a car this big for five okay years? so i feel like it's Fairly big, but compared Fairly. to today's standards, it's actually not that big. How long is it's it? It's old. It's like twenty years old. It's... I love that. This is what you're. This is what you. You buy the GS and then you graduate into this, Joey. Yeah, and you exactly. turn sixty, which you well, it's a V8, so it's an upgrade. I you know, as somebody as somebody who's turning sixty in May. I don't feel old enough to drive this car. <laughs> it would be so nice for five years. I would be so relaxed all the time. You know, this, I, I just also you know, the this, tires. It has Bridgestone Serenity I saw tires. That. I saw that. But I just, I'm just looking at the interior, and the interior with that overwhelming Randy. amount of wood is just looking a little old to me. Let's look at the interior some more. Oh no, my I'm god! You just, for... Pearly, you just showed a 1995. Chef Impala! <laughs> and this show, looks I, old to you! I did not show yeah, a 1995 Impala. I showed a 1996 Impala. I'm like, okay, and this looks old to you. That <laughs> interior looks, looks from an 84 citation. And and this looks old to you. This looks pretty good to me. Dude. Joey, I don't understand. I'm not going to criticize you for this, but these guys criticize me for having gray on gray cars. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait what's, what, what's the deal with the parking brake? Yeah, why is that like it just faded like it at was, a different rate? I think, did yeah, it smoke it and the rest of the car didn't? Or something? <laughs> it just faded it at a different rate. Or it's from a different car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's a replacement. Car. Yeah. It's from like a tan. Um, one of the features I love about this car is that the air vents have this setting where the they oscillate automatically. And I remember the first I had a friend who had one of these, whose parents had one of these when I was a kid, and that that was like the first thing I noticed is that the little air vents would just go back and forth. Well, the Mazda 929 had that too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it wasn't the first, but that was, yeah. that was mm. cool. That's an interesting choice, Joey. I was really curious to see how you'd answer this question. I thought about it for a while. and like, you know, there's plenty of nice new cars, but. It's just, it's just such it a. It has withstood the test of time. It's a silver Lexus. I mean, it's the <laughs> most, how it's the most Joey car Joey? ever. It's really Joey. what it is. Joey, how uh, quick are these? It went, I think it was 0 to 60 in 6.3. Oh, it's quicker than your Impala, Pearly. <laughs> oh, get over it. <laughs> yeah, 6.3. Cheaper, too. And they, they it's just got a lot more miles. VA. I guarantee, you, okay, you put you take these things in five years, which one's going to be worth more, the Impala or this? Which one are you going to want to be in? still be around. <laughs> yeah, which one are you going to want to be in more? Okay, I love this description. Impala. It is the sound of ripping silk. That feels to me. That's a cliche. <laughs> well, I it's think this may be really invented. But you, you, I like the the color of the leather is described as ecru. It's in, ecru. In the, my car or in the comparison, though. And it's got a gray. It's one of the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got like a gray green interior. All right, Joey. Thank you. Uh, who's next, Jonathan? You want to go next? I will go next. I went with. Uh, I didn't get anything as exciting as an Impala SS. Uh, nor How could as, you? Or no, or anything as boring as an LS four thirty. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't go where Joey lives. I don't yeah, have there's that. A, there's a admitted, valley, but you can park. I respect in that. it immensely. So I looked at an E sixty three wagon, uh, but I went with a Bentley. I don't know if you can see this. So if you make it bigger, a two thousand. I almost did this. I almost did oh, this too, yeah. Jonathan. Um. So uh, ninety two thousand yeah, yeah. miles. <laughs> Oh man, wow. been loved. Just, How much? Well, Ninety-three thousand miles. It dissolves. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, it doesn't say how much it costs. It actually does. It's uh, it's thirty. It's it's thirty-five grand. Oh, okay. Why didn't you get one that was a little more expensive with fewer miles? Um, because at this point, like I, speaking of which, I looked at this guy, which has just fifty-two grand. Because like, if the guy's taking care of it, and it's got the records. The Bentleys don't have that many issues, and the ones they have are small, so like lights and radiators and connectors. So, I don't know about that. I yeah, think that well, engine. I, that engine. Well, if you have to do anything to that engine, like replace that's just, the fuel, it, comes you gotta, out. Like, take apart the whole car. But that's no, no, no. They just got to take the engine out. But that's just it. the engine is actually pretty reliable. So if the guy is taking care of it, there's, and I've got fifteen grand in case 
in case it can go grand. Grand. Okay, one I see. Server. That's smart. You got, you got, you got 15 grand in case it needs a spark plug service. change. No, that's that's not how that works. With, 15 uh, grand is not going to last five years. Oh, it's totally going to last five years. These cars don't have that many. They don't have big issues like that, which I checked out when I chose this. Now, I don't like the gray on gray. That's a total T2 thing. I love the gray on gray. For <laughs> I love anything gray on gray. Your entire worldview is gray. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there are some unresolved issues from the Impala pick. That we're yeah, well, trust oh, me. that's aftermarket. Aftermarket, that's aftermarket Kenwood. That, aftermarket. that infotainment is aftermarket. Which he, and I don't mind that. Like I'm, I'm a okay with. Oh, and then know. they swapped out the the eight. What's above the HVAC thing is see that auto thing is also aftermarket. It just, it just, yeah. it just looks like it just looks like something that was bought by a guy who signed his first NHL contract and got the bonus when went and bought it, <laughs> and then oh, never, goodness. and then never, and then hey. never made the team. Well, here, hold on, the, the NHL the, bonuses cannot cover a new Bentley. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah, like here, here, here is a total gray on gray. Which this is actually a 2005 non-speed, and this is the the dealer's. I think it's the dealer's car, and it comes with a warranty. But again, like you're not for five years. I'm not going to have. I don't drive that much, and I'm not an automotive journalist, <laughs> but I still don't drive that much. Uh, and these they're reliable enough to last me until 2026. The paint on drive. these is gorgeous. The paint on these is amazing, and the interiors are beautiful. It yeah. just screams. It just screams. NHL defenseman, nineteen uh, two thousand three, and it just. Hey, I don't. Maybe in Santa Barbara. If I don't you're, know you're, where. If you're like if you're like a teenage teenage hockey player from Saskatoon, <laughs> this is the car you want. I, we need to take no, a field trip to Saskatoon because I guarantee, I guarantee we will not see that <laughs> in Saskatoon. Fine. But yeah, but here, I, I, you know, while I'm out here in the truck, I'm driving to Saskatoon to find a Bentley just to prove it to you. Please. Let me know. Let me know how it goes getting across. <laughs> exactly. I think. I think we know how that's going to turn out. I like Not the wheels on, the, on this one. Well, those are the speed wheels. Yeah, so, I like that. It looks good. You know. You know the interesting thing about the Bentley wheels is, is that they will fit a VW Passat. No, they won't. Yeah, I've seen it. Well, they'll fit a Phaeton too, but I yeah. mean they're a little big for a Passat. The twenty. Yeah, but they will. Yeah, I guess if you had a tiny little rubber band tire, it would fit. I mean, they're, the they're a little big pattern. for a GTI, but. Yeah, exactly. A lot of cars have the same bolt pattern. Uh, but yeah, uh, what, 600 horsepower, 553 pound feet of torque, uh, a zero to 60, slightly better than an Impala SS. So that like this <laughs> LS. Um, and yeah, I, for five years. Isn't it totally a little right. crazy that we live in a world where an Impala SS and a Bentley Continental GT are basically the same price? Um, that that <laughs> is kind of nutty. Well, I think it's, all, it's all those Pearlies out there classic, driving up the prices. <laughs> What's that, Pearly? One, one of the cars is considered a classic, and the other is Bentley. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, he's right. I mean, it's all those folks driving up prices. Of Impalas. Dude, are, are, are Impalas, are Impala SSs in demand? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> so What's going good, on with good. that wheel bolt? Look at that wheel bolt. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a key. Is it a key? No. I don't think so. I think it's missing. Gross. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what they did to that one. But I think the cap is broken. Maybe it's, it's one of the capped ones. I think, I think it broke <laughs> off because it was all the salt in Saskatoon. <laughs> Oh my God! Keep <laughs> keep riding that horse too, Pearly. Please. I'm enjoying it, Pearly, for once. <laughs> so hey, we wanted high energy, Pearly. We have got him. He is here. Ah. So yeah, they go to Regina. Man. Goes beyond. Even with the miles in the aftermarket, I'd be happy with this for five years. It's a beautiful car, no doubt. It's I not going to last five years. Uh, yeah, oh. that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> oh my God. This car will have no problem lasting five years. Zero. In the last five years. All Thank right, you. Casey, you're up. To you that. have to park it. All right. Yeah, I found Jonathan. I found a nine thousand mile one for forty nine thousand nine thousand miles, and it was this beautiful green on tan. But I didn't pick it because I was worried about reliability. Yeah, I've got. I left plenty of budget for reliability issues, but but I'm not going to have any. All right, you guys. Uh, you guys ready to see the winner? <laughs> I'm sorry. Told, oh yeah. Sorry. yeah I just, I just, there we go. Just, it's not my like turn yet. <laughs> oh, I was looking for a 911. I couldn't find it. I looked for a 911. 997. 997 Carrera. 
And, and feel gray. Do you look like at, look at where this where, look at where this look at where those crests are pointing? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, buddy. But they're not the colored crests, which is a deal breaker. Nah. That's a deal breaker for you, Joey. Mean. I don't. I I don't need the colored crest. How many right miles on this thing? Uh, it's seventeen. I Ooh, think Michelin. Fifteen. That's uh, all. Fifteen thousand. One owner. One owner. There's no. I got, That's crazy. No accidents. No nothing. Um. The one hmm. bad thing about the nine nine seven one is you still have to deal with the IMS bearing. Yeah, um, but it's possible that this is not a bad one, or it, or it's already been fixed. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> or if you wanna, do, yeah, do you want to take that gamble with five dollars left in the budget? <laughs> yeah, I'd take that gamble. Take is this, that is gamble. this this is this is a regular Carrera? It's not a Carrera S. Correct. Yeah, but there it's a wash in terms of speed. The S isn't that much quicker. In our testing, the the S versus the base car, they weren't huh. that. Different. I wonder if they are wrong. Uh, now, oh no! This is the three six by yeah. nine nine seven. Yeah, that's and Hurley. And then three. Hurley, how many? It was a three eight. It was a three six. Three six. Three, three eight. Yeah. Three eight. Three six. Three eight. Okay. Hurley, tell me how many of these you see when you go to Saskatoon, because I guarantee you'll, well, see, you'll a see a lot more of these. You don't see a lot of these. You, I don't know how many there are in Saskatoon, but there are eight thousand of them in Santa Barbara. Well, you Sports, got the leather dash too. Casey. Sports steering wheel, uh, leather dash. Yeah. Does not. I was trying to find one with Pasm, which is which was a monster upgrade. Um, yeah, they ride as far as ride cool. quality. Yeah. Um, I mean, 997s in general ride better than 996s, so I'm, uh, it's something I'm, I'm willing to weather. Um, but, uh, you know, my daughter won't out outgrow this back seat in five years, so. Sports steering wheel. I will, uh, I will, yeah, sports steering wheel. Tony doesn't like the sports steering wheel. I, don't I, like like sports steering wheel. Steering. I was, I was going to look for a night. I was going to look for a 911, but I decided that uh, I'd save that for our next challenge, which you already know. Foreshadowing. I was looking for newer 911s and they were not checking. Oh, well, actually, I, I, was actually, yeah. I was actually looking for the older 911s. Older 911s. <laughs> hey, Pearly, I had the exact same thought. Yeah. I mean, you guys know what those wheels are called? What they're nicknamed? Was it was it Starfish? No, you're close. You're close. From the sea. Invertebrate. <laughs> um, oh, man. Squids. No, they're the lobster forks. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. Friends are like lobster forks. This is cool. I mean, it, you, you, this is, the, it's a great choice. I, personally, I, I was going to look for the same thing. Horses are amazing. Um, it would have been great if we had all turned up with 911s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what's on the car. I, I don't think, I don't think there's anybody who haven't got this challenge wouldn't have thought, how about a 911? Yeah. Oh, that's what it costs new, Casey. Yeah, that's what it costs new. The nice mm. thing about your 911 is you're going to put 50,000 miles on it and it's going to be worth maybe $10,000 less in five years when you're done with yeah. it. Yeah. 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 It'll so, and and it'll, it'll still be worth a lot. And it's, it's a manual, obviously. Um, they, there are a ton of automatics on the market. I mean, you can get a Carrera S. You can get a Carrera. You can get a 9972. So the direct injection engine with a PDK for this, for this money. Oh and yeah, the, and the convertibles are also convertibles, yeah. way cheap. Yeah, way yeah. cheap. I don't know. I don't. When I was looking at nine eleven, all the the convertibles are all over the place. What what is that? Is it people just don't want to hang on to the convertibles? Yeah, they don't. It, it was the same when I got the M three last week. Like for some reason, these these particular kinds of cars, convertibles, they don't want them. Well, and I totally are, replaced the. Uh, I totally get oh, the yeah. classic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, real real enthusiast. I mean, you you don't have any budget left for that, but. Uh, I can, I can, it, it, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in negotiating range. There. This is a real enthusiast <laughs> car and enthusiasts never want the convertible. So they, the convertibles have less value. It's the same with all 911s. The convertibles are always worth less than the coupes. I think the, I think it's the, the enthusiasts, the people getting the convertibles are people who just like have six cars and want that, but the enthusiasts want the coupe for uh, whatever reason, enthusiasts like these things. The rigidity, the structural look. rigidity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's you know, that. Low, low, I mean, they weigh less. I mean, yeah. they're, they're better performance. For 997, this is a really nice. This is not my favorite 911, but it is a really nice 997. Yeah. Yeah. I really, I, um, I like, and I like the, I mean, it's, it's, that's another thing. It's like all the ones that are for sale are all silver. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the seal gray is, is no of, aftermarket crap either. It looks yeah, like yeah, and that's another one. It's like you know, there was there there were a few that I found that you know had been stepped on a little bit. Is, is, is my is my car still the only not silver car so far? 
I, I mean, I think not being not silver, your car being not silver, there's there's argument there that it, uh, that it is silver. Uh, and <laughs> your car does have gray in it. That's true. What's oh, your yeah. point? <laughs> green. <laughs> All right. Now, I, I don't know if I've got a winner this week, but I've definitely got something that I want to own. <laughs> So my, for me, for picking my car for the next five years, it has to be a manual. It has to be a rear wheel drive. I wanted a sedan. Wait, and this, want... is a, this is a V Sport though, correct? No, this no, is an ATS. Oh, it's the ATS. All right. And I like the ATS. It's a little smaller than the CTS V. I couldn't find a new CTS V, the current, you know, the last generation CTS V. Yeah. So, but I love the ATS V. I mean, it still has over 400 horsepower. It's 4.2 to 60. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's under budget. I'm at 43,000 before I negotiate. It only has 25,399 miles. Um, super well taken care of, Texas car. It is gray, Pearly, I know. What makes you think it's well taken care of? It's got the, it's got the, it's got the uh, sports seats, the all important six speed manual transmission. I hate the gauge cluster in these cars. It looks like it's out of a cobalt, but I can live with that for the driving. Because these and you don't and you don't mind the Q system. What's that? Yeah, I could live with that. These cars, these cars are the one of the most underrated driving cars I of agree. the last fifteen years. They yeah. have like the best steering in the segment. They have amazing brakes. They've got a great engine. The engine doesn't sound all. No, that it's not a great engine. It, but it's, it's it does the job. <laughs> does its job. Okay. Wait, wait, Casey. Why is it not a great engine? I mean, it 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 sounds like a Malibu. Um, <laughs> and uh you know it's just kind of like ah. so, wait so is that not a great exhaust or not great tuning or not a great engine it just doesn't sound that good it's not it doesn't sound that great it, it's not it's not very exciting i don't think it i don't think it it it, it revs particularly you know it's it, i don't know i don't joyless it's joyless it's joyless yeah it's it's i mean it's, uh, okay. it's an engine that makes good power I, I, but i think i think there's that's no there's no um, joyless no passion behind it no, I mean, it's got a ton of power, but it's not like compared to the competitive set where you can buy a Benz with a four liter V8 twin turbo. The well, v that was back then it was a 6.2. No, 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 not no, 2017. No, 2017, it was a four liter, yeah, it was four liter then. The yeah. previous so, generation was a 6.2. I just, you know, I, I, think, I think you're underselling. I think you're being mean to the engine. I don't think let's, let's take a look at the <laughs> like, Hey, look, look at who wrote I'm being this. mean to the engine. What did your close personal this, friend, uh, uh, Mark Stilo developed that engine. <laughs> close, close personal friend. Hey, Pearly, do you remember writing this? No, it's a personal close friend. It's a car. It's a car I really, really liked. I really love it too, and yeah. I, I could live with it happily for five years. It's rear wheel drive, manual transmission, great steering, great brakes. Your car, your car doesn't have the your car doesn't have the Recaros in it, does it? No, it doesn't. But I'm under budget. I could probably find those and put them in. Yeah. Zero to sixty and four two. I mean, four hundred sixty four horsepower. Yeah, it's mm. 12, a 12, five, 12 five quarter mile. It's a one G car too. It pulls basically one G. <laughs> it's not quite one G. It. And uh, yeah, and it you know it's kind of <laughs> the same displacement as every other high feature V six. Yeah, but you know it's got a lot of power and it's quick. I think that engine works like it's not special like we said, but it works well in that car. It's I, just I, the competitive I, set is so good. I think I think you guys are underselling the engine. I think the engine is better than that. I think I it's think, pretty good too. I like this. Yeah, and and you know they're they're just very sweet, very nice cars. And I think you know, relatively speaking, they're better built than a lot of the um, other Cadillacs. And they're, I like that it's a unique choice. I mean, I'd be driving this around LA where you never see Cadillacs, and you certainly yeah. don't see the PSV. Yeah, look at the front overhang. The proportions are terrific on this car. It's very it's very E46 proportion. Yeah, it's a, it's a three series. Exactly. All right. Well, this didn't go as badly as I thought it was going to. No, I love it. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I'm shocked that I'm not going to win this week. I'm shocked that I'm whoa, not going to Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, yeah, let's get to the vote and see. Yeah, let's get to the vote and see. We don't film these ahead of time, Pearly. Don't make the audience lose, lose face of us. Pearly, okay. if your Venmo hits me in the right time, I'll vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pearly. Impala SS. How many more? <laughs> I'm actually going to give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's a unique choice. <laughs> I would, if you would buy it, I would force If you, you would buy it in five years. Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah. I want to see you in that for the next five years, rolling up to Handlebar Coffee on De La Vina Street, picking up your coffee and your impulse. That's, tw that's 2720 De La Vina Street. <laughs> 
<laughs> Santa Barbara, California. <laughs> um, or going Wait, out to is the, that really the address? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, really yeah. ads. <laughs> How do you know the address to your coffee shop? <laughs> because it's printed on the T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, he, he is, he's Mr. Santa Barbara, Casey. Like, he's, yeah, he's, 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 today he's I'm promoting his alma mater. You need to run for mayor of Santa Barbara. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's oh, honorary probably mayor. Win. Oh yeah. my God, run for mayor. <laughs> All right, Pearly, what's your You know, you know I can't even get on the board of my HOA. I'm not going to be elected mayor. No, that, that's a good thing. You want to take that as a compliment, Pearly. No, Pearly. just go above the HOA. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me put you this way. My opinion of the HOA is so low, there's nothing below the Oh, HOA. my God. What, what's your favorite car? <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go. Before the rain takes off. This, 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 is, this, is, this is really, I have, I, I'm going to give it to the guy. I, I'd love that 911, but I'd go for the ATSV. Yes. <laughs> Good one. Because um, because you know it's but it, it sound because of where I do live and it's for me is I would not want to be seen as another prick in a 911 in Santa Barbara. Oh my goodness! You need to you need to, you need the, to educate. The car you need to educate the drivers. Your... You'd educate. rather be seen as the creepy dude in the Impala SF. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I am I am considered the creepy dude no matter what I drive. I'd rather be the creepy dude in the ATSV than the creepy dude. I'm, well, I'm the creepy I'm the creepy dude in my tundra. They would so. if the, they would say a creepy dude signed an NHL contract with uh, the Saskatoon minor league when he showed up in Sask- his, AT, his ATSV. Well, let, let, let me see this way: the one Jonathan, is, <laughs> Jonathan, I adore you. I love you. You're the best guy in the history, of guys. But I would never come close to that car. For any money because that thing is just gonna that thing is gonna it's a grenade waiting to happen it's simply, as soon, as soon, as soon as you leave right, the lot right. you can talk about it when we vote on his car as you oh, leave no, the lot like, yeah, like, that that thing i was not <laughs> pearly he's like pearly pearly has turned into biden's dog like the the one that keeps biting everyone <laughs> biden's dog, homer whatever it's like hey Major. i'm on your side <laughs> no he's captain chaos he just throws <laughs> chaos on the show on the show well <laughs> All right, Joey. Uh, you were next, right? Alexis Ellis. I mean, the sound of just because yeah, just, just it's Joey. I support and... you fully if you want to buy yeah. it. No. I mean, I basically already did. So. It's, it's a car. It's a car I respect but don't love. Casey, and wait, why? Casey, how, but a downvote. Why a downvote? Why? why it, it's so boring. <laughs> it's really so boring. That, but but I, like I would not. It, it, okay. For me, that's a thumbs down. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, Fair enough. Ooh, Ooh, Joey, the, good your, thing, uh... the good thing about that car is, is that if you get caught in a snowstorm, you can burn the dashboard for a fire. <laughs> yeah, I don't, think, I don't think you want to do that. Take all the wood out, build a fire. Uh, I think that, that's a chemical problem. All right, uh, Joey. No. I think burley has been burning some uh, chemical wood. I was going to say, I think he's a, <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say my favorite car is the ATSV. Yes, oh my god! <laughs> You're so shocked. Like Miss America over there. Okay, Look so I like the 911. I like the 911. But I'd win. The ATSV is cheaper. It's a sedan. I really think that is great to drive. It's awesome to drive. I would, yeah, I love that car. You probably have you never have you ever driven a 997? No, that's hurting you, Casey. They haven't driven. I know they haven't. Yeah, (laughs) that's that's yeah. Someday. All All right. Uh, Nine nine sevens are like how big a a Cayman is now. Mm. Yeah, they're really. I did look for a Cayman at one point, but I didn't find any good one. Yeah, nine nine sevens only have a ninety-two and a half inch wheelbase. It's not that much bigger than like a nine nine three. Okay, well, someday I'll drive a nine nine seven, and then I'll revise my vote. And then, nice. and then what will happen is you'll, now, drive the nine, nine, you'll drive the 997, then you'll go drive a 993 and say, why did they change it to this? No, they had to. 7 is a modern car. Nine, nine, yeah, nine, you, nine. you had to. That's and I love the 993, but that's, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm with you. I own a 993, and I do not agree with that statement. Yeah. Again, uh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I care enough. I care enough to, to rant, <laughs> but I don't care enough to listen to I, I, I said good day, sir. I am secure in my opinions. <laughs> exactly. I said good day, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Bentley Continental GT, 50,000 miles? How many miles are on it? Well, the, the one you're voting on was, was 92,000 miles. 92,000 miles. Yeah. I'm going to go thumbs up. It's a Bentley. I thought it was cool. Thank you. 
I do. I have, but I have plenty of budget to take care of everything. I have plenty of budget. Casey, let's. It's going sideways. I'll take it sideways. I love, that's the enthusiasm. I love the enthusiasm, but that's just a scary proposition. You only have three. Oh, I would love to drive that car. Jonathan, you only have three grand a year for the next five years to take care of that thing. And I think you're going to need 15 a year. No, I, th I think I think you are wholly overestimating the maintenance needs on a Bentley Continental GT. Mm. That's what I think. I don't know. And, I, and just for that, I'm going to buy one and prove it to you all. Oh, probably do. Do. Please, probably please do. Through do, do that, Jonathan. Please. I I'll do that. We'll never see Jonathan again. They'll find his desiccated corpse in the car where it broke. Is that it? What transmission? That's not six speed. Six speed. Six that's, that's a ZF6 speed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, a tractor transmission. So it's not going to break. All right. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your Johnson, it's your boundless optimism that makes you so attractive. So this, this is going to seem crazy, but I'm going to explain why I'm making this vote after I make the vote, but I got to go with the Impala SS. Yes! <laughs> That's, because, so, I mean, Joey, straight on brand, I would just never have that car. I would never also have an APS. The, the 911 I love, but it's so boring and predictable among this group. And, and it, it gets great, but for surprise and uniqueness and actual like i would try this out for five years i would go with you would? Oh, you, totally. would, you would jump into that deep end wow you know jonathan you're oh, yeah. better oh, look, look, look like because I, I i would i would be going from porsche let me try this experiment for five years back to porsche like porsche will always be there and it's great that's why i'm like sure i'll take a i'll take a lark on this impala ss I Thank you, Jonathan. Your your Bentley's looking better already. <laughs> I've heard enough. Right. Already. You already <laughs> voted. All right, uh, Casey, nine eleven. Hardy, thumbs up. I have to vote up. That's a great choice. What are you buying out of these cars? I'm buying my car. <laughs> See, that's what that, that's what I felt. I'm buying my Bentley. <laughs> That's how I felt. That's fine. That's why you presented it. But then we have to you have to pick a car other than your own. Don't, yeah, don't I mean, it'd, be, it'd be the ATS, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would. It would. Bentley, Bentley freaks me out. Like I said, the, the, mm. the an LS, like a, a mint LS 400, mm. that could be cool. Yeah, an early right. one. It's yeah, early, an early, 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 early one. one. Be weird yeah. and cool, yeah. Um, and uh, like the Impala, that's just never going to happen. So, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's the ATS. You know, I just want to say is, I, you know, we're talking about a car that was made in Arlington, Texas, the Impala SS. Oh my the God. only American made car. Well, the ATSV, I guess, is made like. Michigan. What was it made? Was that, that yeah. Flint Lansing. or something? Yeah. Lansing. Yeah. <laughs> so you mean the other American made car? Is uh, what, forget what forget I said that. Take that yeah. out. That was great. We're going to leave that in. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Casey, didn't the guy who owned the two LFAs, didn't he drive the vintage of LS that Joey presented? No, he had the, the one after that. Oh, the, the, the big the bigger one. 460. I was gonna yeah, try to sell you on that basis on the LS. A four, now see a 460, that I could have gotten way more behind. You like that better? I like the generation yeah. I picked better. Interesting. And my my favorite is have you driven original. both of them? No. Okay. My favorite is the original. It's just such an iconic car that completely dominated when it was there and yes, created a brand. Casey already said. Um <laughs> so what? TSV, manual transmission, 400 plus horsepower. 400 uh, horsepower. But it's so, it's, uh, it's so unique and powerful. It is not, not unique. unique. It is not unique. And all. it's already won the competition. It's so rare. Yeah, it's already no, won. And I, it's not I, rare. They're, they're all over. They're all over Ohio. ATS all over. Vs, ATSVs. I mean, ATSs. They're all yeah, over. It's not the same. The V is rare. <laughs> that's, like, that's like a Phaeton is the same as your Bentley. Whoa. <laughs> Actually, the Phaeton might be more rare. Oh, well, yeah, okay. the Phaeton is definitely just, more rare. Let's, let's just proceed to the moment when Tony picks the 911. All right, uh, Pearly, what if I pick your car? Don't challenge me into picking your car. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely the 911 wins by a lot. <laughs> you guys are crazy for picking the ATSV. <laughs> Tony's even like, you know, what are you doing? But I love it. I love the ATSV, but you guys, I'm surprised I won. I'm shocked. 
you know, the thing is, is that you know, for five years, I just don't want to go out and see the same car I'm going to see 800 different times. And that's why the ATSD, I think the ATSD. Oh we God. don't all live in Santa Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I do. So. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, well, you're not going to see any Impala SSs there. <laughs> you don't look the right. Paul SSs used to be pretty common but so many of them got ruined by people just wait, wait, wait. When was, when was Tony, that? Tony 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 do you think you could get on John's um HOA board <laughs> <laughs> hey Pearly, I think all the Impala SSs that were in Santa Barbara beached themselves on the beach <laughs> oh a whale joke oh how exciting for you <laughs> oh my god Okay, this this is like some West Coast insider stuff. It's the, well, all the, when the police cars were when they were those were police cars, they were always Shamu because they were black and white and they looked like that whale. <laughs> all right. And when you're they first came, really, are you done? Because the show's over. Oh wait a second! In '91, when they first oh, came God. out, they were terrible, but they got so good by the end. <laughs> okay. Flashback to 1991. <laughs> the Minnesota Twins just won the World Series. <laughs> God. In fact, in fact, I would say that this car the is, Caprice is the Caprice Classic cur- is named Motor Trend Car of the Year. That was Motor Trend Car of the Year in '90. Yeah, and guess guess who wasn't on the Motor Trend jury, but was on the next one? Pearly. Yeah. All right, we're done. The show's over. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm, now I'm thinking about Kirby Puckett. Stop talking. <laughs> How are you thinking about Kirby Puckett and not uh, uh, Jack Morris's eleven innings? Is Kirby oh, Puckett, Kirby was, Puckett was amazing. Was Kirby Puckett the MVP in that series? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Kirby Puckett was short foreshadowing for the next episode. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this long. Please hit the subscribe or like button. And um, we'll see you next week. We've got a special guest, uh, Matt Farah, next week. So we'll, uh, we'll be doing that episode. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next week. See you. Every legacy comes with a burden. A standard to bear. An expectation to surpass. A purpose to live up to. But that's the point. Bring us doubt. And we'll bring you the first car with true hands-free driving for the freeway. Bring us a challenge and we'll reinvent what it means to own a car. Bring us all your expectations, and we'll defy them. Again, and again, and again.